Hey everyone, bit of a random different video today. So we're in our new backyard as you can see behind me. Uh, I will show you the full house when it's completely done, uh, at least in a place where I'm happy enough to show you guys. But for today, I wanna do a bit of a different video as you can tell by the title. I'm gonna unbox a new lawn mower. I've never owned a lawn mower and being an adult, it's weird how much you get excited about things you never thought you'd be excited about. I'm super excited for this lawnmower. Lowe's actually sent it to me for free. Just kidding. Lowe's, if you want to send me another one for free, that'd be okay. Maybe, uh, you know, a weed eater or leaf blower. I'd love it. Anyway, I'm done with being funny. I'm gonna go get it. Ta-da! As you can tell, I got the Cobalt 40 volt. Uh, it's all electric, so it runs off battery power, which I'm a huge electric fan. Um, I want a Tesla one day, and I love the idea of switching to battery power everything, sort of, kind of. So, uh, this was cool. I don't have that big of a yard, so um, I figured it'd be good enough for me. But what I'm going to do today is just unbox it with you guys and uh, try it out. If... So, this is a brushless mower. It can store vertically. It's got a 20 inch steel deck. <laughs> now, I'm excited to get into this thing. I've never unboxed a lawnmower before. It comes with a bag for collecting the, the trimmings. Another cool thing is this brand in particular, they can all use the same battery. So if you've got a weed eater that's cobalt or the 40 volt one, if you've got um, a leaf blower, you can sort of interchange the batteries, just buy a few batteries, keep them all charged and swap them out if you need to. So. I'm gonna get this thing out of here, and then uh, hopefully we can fire it up, or turn it on, I guess I would say, since it's electric. So, um, here is the battery here. It's uh, got a nice heft to it, let's see. So there's one little dot of charge, I don't know if you can see that. One little dot of charge, so hopefully we'll be able to at least turn it on, walk it around a little bit. And then here's <clears throat> the charging unit for the battery. So. That's pretty cool. I'll set that aside for now. Okay, so there's the uh, the bag for the back, which is pretty cool. I'm not really sure how. Oh, just like that. Oh, there she is. Let's get this box out of here. All right, so here is the unit. Um, again, it's got the 20 inch deck. This right here is where you put the battery in neat. I need to sort of figure out how all this fits together. And so this isn't self-propelled by the way. Um, it's like a hundred dollars more to get a self-propelled one and though I'll probably regret not getting that, <laughs> um, my backyard is pretty flat and so is the front yard so I didn't think it would matter too much if I got to push it. Um, but again that remains to be seen. All right, so I've got the handle on. It's ready to go. Um, now I'm gonna try to put this bag on here, see how that works. I think you just lift up this flap and there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So here's the mower. If you guys wanna see how the bottom looks here. So it's a brushless mower, whatever that means. Uh, I guess that's what is used to make the friction to uh, run a gas mower. Uh, this doesn't have that, whatever that means. I don't know. So here's our blade. It's pretty sweet. Uh, I guess you can change these out if you need to. So apparently, I know I'm doing a terrible job of reviewing here, but apparently the battery is meant to last for three years and the mower for five years. I think if I keep good care of it, then it'll last a bit longer. But again, this was about $300, I think. So hopefully in five years it'll get its worth. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna start tallying how many times I mow my grass just to see if my money was spent wisely. But I want to get this thing running. I want to show you guys how loud it is and I just mowed my grass not too long ago last week so there's not much to mow here but I kind of just wanted to see how it does and see how hard it is to push and stuff. So let's fire it up. There's the instruction manual. I was looking and I couldn't find one. Hopefully I put it together right. All right, so battery goes in right here in the front. I'm guessing this way. Locked and loaded. Again, we got a little bit of charge here. Number one, 
Push the button, number two, pull back. Sick. Did a few lines there. Um, it's really quiet. <laughs> it's also really cool, and uh, I am super excited to use this thing. I know. So one thing that's also pretty cool about it is um, you can change the height of the, the mower just with one side here. You can go from one all the way up to a seven. I don't know what that means. Maybe inches. Who knows? Um, but as you can see behind me, I think maybe. I was on one and it cuts really short. Um, I kind of like the way that looks. I've got big plans for this yard, especially the front yard where I kind of want to just redo the entire thing. It's got, uh, I don't know which way I'm pointing, all on the fences and such on both sides. There's old bushes that they just whacked off. So they've got roots in the ground and up front, there's a lot of uh, weeds and everything. There's weeds all over this yard. so. Hopefully this will help me keep the grass trimmed while we're sort of doing our landscaping and stuff here. And uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna mow the grass. Might as well, got a new toy, huh? But uh, I, I guess I'll charge up the battery first. But anyway, that's gonna do it. I uh, think this thing is awesome. Obviously I haven't used it enough to really give it a solid rating. Um, but from what I can tell, it's quiet, it does the job, and I'm excited to use it. So feel free to ask me any questions about the mower in the comments, and I'll try to answer them as I use it. Again, I think I'm gonna mow today, just to get a feel for it. If you've watched the video this far, I want you to comment down below. Allergies are the worst. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace. I'll see you next time for some home stuff around the house here on the Spencer Pugh channel, sponsored by you guys.